Hello and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top 3 biggest courtroom mistakes that have occurred. So make sure you're with us till the end of the video because your mind is surely going to get blown. Also, before we start, make sure you subscribe to our channel so that you do not miss any videos from us. Okay, let's begin. Eduardo Orama is shown here in the Miami, Florida facility known as the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Complex. There is a dilemma because Orama should be imprisoned inside of the facility, but he isn't. The prisoner didn't actually get out. Instead, a paperwork mistake led to his early release into the open on the day of his 52nd birthday. Orama still had a little over a year to spend for criminal mischief, probation violation, and firing or hurling a dangerous projectile into a building or vehicle, so it was a lovely present. It is possible to launch a missile into a building or automobile. Authorities warned the public after realizing their error, and this wanted flyer based on Orama's criminal history was one of those warnings. For over three days after his unintentional release, there was a significant problem, and Orama was nowhere to be found. Then on a Zoom call with the Miami-Dade Circuit Court, he reappeared in an unexpected location. That's Orama, who although being aware that he's currently wanted, appears to be at ease while sitting with an amiable little dog in an unidentified place. Orama was supposed to attend a hearing from within the prison, but it appears that he's on the patio instead because the Broward County Court built up an easy portal for remote hearings because of the COVID-19 outbreak. He appears for his hearing even a bit early, despite the fact that he's wanted by the police. The only other person on the video conference is his attorney, Fadja Salem, an associate public defender, but after a brief talk with her about his circumstances, he hangs up before the court begins. Mr. Arama is a sentenced inmate, and he's sentenced to state prison. He was released in error, said Eileen Keeley, assistant state attorney. As you know, Mr. Arama was present. His video was working, and then he turned it off. The judge then asks Salem if she has spoken with him about surrendering. She replies, Judge, I've spoken to him. This is his only request. He has only a few possessions left, his name and a dog and he's merely asking for the court to give him a date to surrender so that he can find somebody to take those possessions. Salem persists in arguing for a little bit extra time out of custody for her client, even though Orama is supposed to be in jail. Your Honor, he's not a flight risk. You know that answers to the authorities' calls that appear in court on Zoom are not at risk for a flight. We're merely asking for a day so that he can get his possessions to somebody to take care of. But Judge Marlene Fernandez Caravezos seems to think Orama's dog sitting vacation has lasted long enough. He's had that day, Miss Alum. He was released on Monday. It's now Thursday. He surrendered today. The following day, without incident, Eduardo Orama was returned to jail. The Miami Dade Department of Prisons released a statement that included the following quote Our review of the circumstances surrounding this inmate release is continuing and will involve a comprehensive internal inquiry. Now let's go to Fort Lauderdale, Florida where Judge John Hurley is holding online bond hearings with detainees from the Broward County Jail. Brian Naval, a 25-year-old, is convinced that all of the charges against him are merely battery-related, but the records show otherwise. Judge John Hurley said, You're charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon of domestic violence and battery. You're going to be held without bond, sir, until further order of the court. Thank you. The realization that he's going back to jail starts to sink in for Nathan. He says, are you kidding me? The judge then replies, No, I'm not kidding you. That's the truth. You're not going anywhere. That's the truth. Naval thought that he was going in for just battery, but the judge said, I know, man, but that's the way life is. Naval then says something, or rather swears, that irritates the judge after Naval has left. The judge insists that the police bring him back to him. He's questioned by the judge regarding what was said to him. Naval literally repeats himself. He claims that the allegations he had the day before were entirely different, which is why he called him that. The judge then says, This court is inclined to hold you in contempt of court, and I want to know from you, give me a reason why I should not hold you in contempt of court. Naval then says, He sees no reason why he shouldn't be held in contempt of court. The judge then says, Okay, sir, I find you in contempt of court for using that type of language with the court you just used, and I'm going to ask you if you have anything to say before I pass sentence. Naval says, I apologize, I was out of line, and I'm just upset because this is not what I was charged with yesterday. The judge replies, I accept your apology, and I will sentence you to 60 days in the Broward County Jail. Thank you. 
After getting hit with two months in jail, it appears the foul-mouthed defendant may have finally learned his lesson, or did he? Because after the judge's statement, Naval says, Can I take the cunt back in? The judge was obviously not happy with this again. He said, Sir, I'm inclined to hold you in contempt of court again, and I'm going to send you for another 60 days to run consecutive to the prior 60 days. So now you're up to 120 days in the Broward County Jail. Do you have anything else you'd like to say? He was, however, actually let out by the judge four days later. Liking the video so far? Then spare a few seconds and go give it a like, share, and subscribe to our channel as well. Okay, let's continue. Next, we go to Sacramento, California for a traffic court hearing. Scott Green, the defendant who is appearing in court for a speeding and license tag violation, is being held up by the court clerk. Defendant Green is also a plastic surgeon by the name of Dr. Scott Green. The judge asks him, are you available for trial? It kind of looks like you're in an operating room right now. Green replies, I am, sir. I am in the operating room. Yes, I'm available for trial. Go right ahead. The judge then continue. Okay, let me just briefly advise you that the proceedings right now are being live streamed on YouTube. That's because traffic trials are required by law to be open to the public since we're limiting physical access to the courtroom right now. That's how we're making them open to the public, okay? Dr. Green is ready to go whether or not you're streaming. After taking the oath of office, the good doctor keeps up his multitasking while he awaits the arrival of court commissioner Gary Link. The commissioner says, So unless I'm mistaken, I'm seeing a defendant that's in the middle of an operating room and appears to be actively engaged in providing services to a patient. Is that correct, Mr. Green? He replies with affirmation. Commissioner Link seems to be a bit concerned about Dr. Green's setting and his ability to continue the hearing while performing a facelift on a patient. He says, I don't feel comfortable uh, for the welfare of a patient if you're in the process of operating, so I would put you on trial notwithstanding the fact that the officers are here today. Green then says, I have another surgeon right here who's doing the surgery with me, so I could stand here and allow them to do the surgery. But the commissioner still doesn't approve and says that they'll have to come up with another day. It looks like Dr. Green's plan isn't going over so well with the chorus. Green then says, I apologize your honor to the court. Despite the fact that the issue gained a lot of media attention, the initial court business was settled when Dr. Green paid his penalty a few days later. And that's the end of this video. Let us know in the comment section below which one of these blew your mind the most. Also, do let us know which topic you would like to watch a video about next. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a like, share it across, and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. See you next time. Bye. Time.